Okay, so what the fact of error mistake is that um, if P of A equals zero, then that means that X minus A is a factor. Okay, um, now if P of uh, B on A equals zero, then what that means is that AX minus B is a factor. And further, if you have x minus a is a factor, then p of a would equal 0. And the same for um, ax minus b, then p of b on a equals 0. It's actually whatever it is to make that factor 0. So you're actually solving that for 0. So it's x minus a is 0, so it's when x equals a. This one here is when ax minus b equals zero, because it's when ax equals b, and that's x on b. The zeros will be where the x intercepts. So the zeros have a few names. They have the zeros, they're called roots, and they're actually also the x intercepts where they cut the x axis. So as an example, let's just say if p of x is x cubed minus two x squared, minus 3x plus 1. Um, okay, let's just actually go plus 4. So let's just show that, um, show that x minus 1 is a factor. Okay, so you just have to put in x equals 1 into the polynomial. You get 1 cubed minus 2 times 1 squared, 3 times 1 plus 4. So you end up with um, 5 minus 5, you end up with 0. So therefore x minus 1 is a factor. Okay, so if x minus 1, x equals minus 1 is a 0, find a, then you just put p of minus 1 into there. Um, and that's going to equal 0. So you get minus 2 minus a minus 3 minus 1. So that's a minus 6 equals 0. a minus 6 equals 0. So then you just end up with a equals 6. So a will equal 6. Okay. All right, so just another question here. So p of 2 is a 0 and also p of 1 is a factor. So that means when you put 2 in, you get 0. So you get 16 plus 2a plus b is 0. 2a plus b is minus 16. And p of 1, 1 to the 4 plus a times 1 plus b, that has to equal to 0. So a plus b equals minus 1. Okay, so then you put a plus b equals minus 1. 2a plus b equals minus 16. So now we go to solve these. The b's are the same. So we could just do 1 minus 2. So we go minus minus plus. a minus 2a is minus 1a. The b's go out. Minus 1 plus 16 is 15. So a is minus 15. Okay, now to find b. So you just have to put it back in. a plus b is minus 1. So therefore, minus 15 plus b equals minus 1. So b is minus 1 plus 15, so b is equal to 14. Okay, and another question. All right, so p of 1 equals 0, because x minus 1 is a factor. So that means 1 cubed plus a times 1 squared minus 2 times 1 minus 4 equals 0. 1 plus a minus 6 equals 0. A minus 5 equals 0, A equals 5. Okay, so P of X equals X cubed plus 5X squared minus 2X minus 4. That's your polynomial. Okay, okay, so now in order to factorise that, if I use long division on this, X cubed plus 5X squared minus 2X minus 4. So we go, okay, X goes into X cubed X squared times x squared times x is x cubed, x squared times x is plus x squared, x 
sorry, x squared times x is x cubed, x squared times minus 1 will give you minus x squared. And then you're subtracting these, so they go out, 5x plus x squared, 5x squared plus x squared is 6x squared, minus 2x minus 4, plus 6x will give you 6x squared minus 6x, and then you change the sign, they go out, that gives you 4x minus 4, and then minus 4, so that will give you 4x plus 4, Sorry, not 4x plus 4, it's, you should just, that should just be plus 4, I think. Okay, so you um, end up with minus 4, and then when you subtract those, they go to 0. So that means that p of x will equal x minus 1, x squared plus 6x plus 4.